This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then cross out your eyes. Now, I don't know why we got the clip of the, 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 the scene that I was, why my scene wasn't in there. But, um. <laughs> So humble, Sway. Oh, every time I see Neil, I'll bring this up because it was the first time we co-starred in a movie together. Okay. Indeed. indeed. Remember that, Neil? I do remember that, yeah. Yeah. I, I kind of remember when I was doing my parts, um, I felt like a lot of you guys, were you were in Columbus at, at the, the beat. You know, specific with kind of looking at my acting style. And you, you, you came, you became a muse for us. You yeah, did. right. <laughs> yes, a muse. All right. Yeah, thank you, we man. Were, I appreciate we that. We were amused at your performance. <laughs> yeah, jokes, not jokes. But you know, <laughs> as a result, because of all of our inputs, including yours, you did your thing. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> that movie was number one for weeks to come. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Now, I don't know what the le- second one did. Uh. Uh, yeah, right, exactly. You wasn't Miss. in that one, Sway? No, I wasn't in oh, that okay. one. Were you Cues, in that one, Neil? Cues to drink water. Were, were you in that? There it is, right there. You were in that one, though, right? Hmm? Were you in that second one? Cues to drink water. There it is. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys should have called me, man. I mean, I don't, I don't want to, you know, make this, this really interview about you, but th- you guys could have called. Hey. Neil was here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> What's you know, going on? What's going on? Man, I was thinking about you because uh, we had John Legend up here last week. and we ah, were shout talking. out to John. Damn Absolutely. Man. And John and you, I was telling John because um, uh, I liked how BT honored Lionel Richie mm-hmm. uh, for who he is as a writer, singer, songwriter, producer. And uh, I, I thank John because I grew up listening to Lionel Richie. My mother used to play it in a, uh, when we would fall asleep as kids. And yeah. I got a chance to experience music that felt like something um, the that intangible feeling that you know just provokes emotion and spirit and sometimes tears, depending on joy, laughter. Indeed. And I thank John for allowing my daughter to grow up in a generation where she can experience that kind of music. And I think I have to thank you as well because as a singer, a songwriter, producer, uh, what you have done in the music industry up to this point, uh, in my opinion, man, has been flawless. Some songs may have sold more than others, uh, but the passion and the quality of work that you've done has always been consistent. True. So I always want to say that to you. Thank you for I that. I appreciate that, man. And, then, uh, that. and for that reason, my daughter could have music she could talk about 10, 15, 20 years from Absolutely. now. Absolutely. That you Absolutely. made today. Uh, and so just like Lionel Richie and all those guys, I think you're in that lineage. Neo is here, man. Yeah, man. Give him a big round of applause, man. That's love. That's love. No, no, that's real. Um... And now you got the new project, nonfiction. I feel like have we not heard from Neil? Yeah. You've been out of the. Uh, well, I mean, I, I put out an album. Uh, was it last year? Or year before last. Uh huh. I'm I'm trying to it was remember. A year and a half ago. I have the memory of a goldfish. I okay. really do. <laughs> okay. But uh, I put out Red. You know, which which got which got decent reviews or whatever mm-hmm. the case may be. Uh, it was my first the first time that I put out on Motown. You know, Motown we're out, we're in this whole revamp stage yeah. right now. So you know, we we getting things together. Things aren't things aren't exactly what they need to be as of yet, but we are moving in the right direction. Mm-hmm. You know, so so you know that one kind of kind of slipped through the cracks a little bit, but it's all good. It's all good. Um, I'm not in the business of selling records. I'm in the business of making music. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm in the business of making quality music. You know, as far as selling it, that's for them folks over there that, uh-huh. that you know that sit in them offices on them you know whatever the case may be um but yeah so this album uh, i'll be looking for this one in the fall Nonfiction. i'm calling it that because i'm calling that for a couple reasons okay. one of the reasons being every song on this album is a 100 percent true story yeah some of the stories are mine there's some things that have gone on in my personal life over the last couple years that i you know felt the need to discuss and just bring out there i've mm-hmm. always told people if you want to know who i am Listen to the music; it's all in there. What what, to- um, what topics did you touch on? You know? Well, I mean, you know, uh, you know, me and me and the mother of my two children we're not yeah. together anymore. Yeah. We're no longer romantic. We're still still great friends. We are still a unit in regard to raising these kids. And plus, you know, like I said, we're friends. We're friends. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, she's about to be on uh, the the Atlanta exes. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. Okay. No. It's not going to be what everybody is thinking that it's going to be. One of the beautiful things about Monietta Shaw is that she is not stupid. Mm. Okay. She is not stupid. She okay. is not ignorant. She is not ratchet. She is not going to get on TV and talk crazy about me because she understands that messing up my thing messes up her thing, messes up our kids' thing. Hey. Okay. So, no. Okay. So, it's not going to be that. It's not going to be that. That's what Peter Gunn thought. 
<laughs> Peace, my man. But, ah, that, but you know what happened? Those producers, mm -hmm. they get on your neck. Oh yeah, oh yeah. To create something out of nothing. Mm -hmm. Mind have... you, I was, I was, you know, we we were still in in communication as the whole thing was being shot, and she okay. definitely let me know. They they tried, you know, once or twice with a couple things. Okay. But uh, yeah, like I said, she's not stupid. She's not. She's not that. You know, she's very very classy woman, and uh, that's what you're gonna see on TV. So, uh, you know, so I, I touched on a little bit of that, you know, just just the reality of us not being together is that I was not ready to be what it is she deserved. Okay. You know, you know, as a man, I can admit that I, I, I had some growing up to do and, you know, whatever the case may be. So that is what it is. So I touched on that a little bit. But one of the kind of cool things I did with this album is that I wanted the I wanted my fans to feel like they were more the creative process. Mm -hmm. So I reached out via my Twitter, via my Instagram, just on some. What's going on in your relationship? What's going on at your job? What's going on in your house? What's going no, on with your kids? Okay. Okay. And the people that sent me the stories back, I wrote songs about. So wow. people, as you're listening to this album, if you hear a song that sounds like your situation, it might just be your situation. Damn, yeah. man. I could have gave you a bunch of <laughs> yeah, yeah, <man. laughs> novels work. Yeah, man. Do they get, do the fans get any writer's credit or publisher? Um, No, <laughs> but they get the joy of knowing that they inspired a record. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Neil is here. <laughs> The new single is Money Can't Buy. Yeah, yeah. Is that inspired by a fan or inspired by your life? Uh, that wasn't. That's definitely inspired by my life, inspired by um, uh, the the fact that a woman with a little bit of class and integrity is a little few and far between nowadays. You know, let me take that back. Let me take that back because they definitely exist. They're just not celebrated. Yeah. yeah. You know? So yeah. this is a song celebrating them, letting it be known that, that you know, somebody out there still recognizes you know what integrity is and what class is, and you know those those characteristics that money just truly can't buy. Jeezy is featured on this track. Yes, as well. indeed. Is this the one you did a remix to, Wonder? So let's play the original, and then I want to play you Wonder's remix. Is yeah, that yeah. okay? All Absolutely. Right. Neo is here. 888-742-3345. That's off the album Nonfiction throughout in September, featuring Neo, who's here with us right now, featuring Jeezy. And no. oh, 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 you're featuring <laughs> Jeezy. <That's not> bad. <laughs> Yo, real quick before you play this remix. Jeezy brought like how did the song come together? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I get a call from Jeezy out to Blue one night, and he's like, "Yo, I got your next single." And I'm like, "I, you, what, what you mean by that?" And he's like, "Bruh, trust me, I got your next single. Come by the studio, I got your next single." So I'm like, "All right." Now initially, I'm thinking, "Okay, this is Jeezy. Jeezy epitomizes street, you know." So yeah. I'm thinking, "What do this street dude know about R&B music?" All right, so let me go ahead and see what's going on. He played me the track. He had already done his parts to the joint, but yeah, he actually brought me. This track and I went in and did my parts and, and the rest is history. So shout out to Jeezy and his A and R skills. A and R skills, yeah, man. Thank Maybe you could bring them over to Motown because aren't you head over? What's your time? I'm, I'm senior vice president in A and R over Motown. Yeah. Well, I think Jeezy hey. job. I think Jeezy already got a job. Jeezy just. Did he sign something with Def Jam? Not, not Atlantic. Atlantic. He's oh, okay, okay. Over in Atlantic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Smart over there at Atlantic, man. Yeah, yeah. He got an ear for this. This is a DJ Wonder remix. First time ever heard. World premiere. Yeah, yeah. Neil's going to let you know what he thinks right here. He's going to be honest. Ooh. Money can't buy. Sway in the morning. Exclusive. Good luck, Wonder. Uh, uh, Wonder remix. Money can't buy. Well, damn. That's Neil featuring Jeezy. He put some work on that, man. Yeah, man. Yeah? Hold another energy on that thing. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Quality yeah. works up. Okay, you like that? Quality work, brother. Okay, you yeah. got the quality like works, man. Can you just say his name and DJ Wonder real quick? So can you say DJ Wonder quality work? Then he could take that and put it in the remix. DJ Wonder quality work, brother. There it is, man. I'll do I, <laughs> yes, I'm, 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 I'm my brother's keeper. All right, we got <laughs> Neo here, man. 888-742-3345. <laughs> Good to have him here, man. Um, oh, yeah. Amelica, how you doing? Emilica. 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 How are you? Doing okay. Say hello to Neil. Oh, oh, hi, Neil. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, baby. How are you? Um, I am blessed. I am well. Other than my voice being a little lost, but uh, shout out to um Sway and um and everything for holding down the morning show because he does amazing things. Absolutely, um, absolutely. You yourself. Thank you for you, for being you. You are a blessed man. You have amazing mm -hmm. talent. Your spirit shines on your lyrics. Your your voice, your soul, your energy. You're an amazing person. Appreciate your positivity, doing you. Morning, baby. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. <laughs> well, make sure you pick up the album coming out in September. Uh, what an interesting concept of being inspired by real life moments that Neil has experienced, including personal ones when you talk about your your, your children and their mom, mm -hmm. uh, and then also inspire. Emilica by um, by the fans. Yeah, by the I fans. That was by by y'all. Absolutely. 
a question because I wonder how far you go with um, transparency because that's what's always made me gravitate towards you as mm -hmm. an artist. And I remember, and I was like, damn, Neo, there is these photos that <laughs> leaked <laughs> of another region. Back in the sidekick days. Yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah, sidekick days mm -hmm. on the sidekick. <laughs> is there gonna, what were the photos? It was a photo of a nice light-skinned woman who was on her knees uh, wearing some type of something that was hugging on her butt. Yeah. And Neo's zipper was down, pants was down, boxes was down, penis was out. Slum? She was smoking was, the gun? It was some intelligence going on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. A lot of cerebellum yeah. going on, yeah. right? Yeah, so, uh, something like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Do you talk about being tempted by groupies or just indulging? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I, I'm... Again, like I said, I, I let everybody know. If you want to know who I am, what's going on with me, listen to the music. It's all there. I'm not the dude that's going to, you know, uh, search for paparazzi as I'm walking out of the restaurant with, with my new boo or whatever the case may be. I'm, I'm not that dude. I'm, I'm, I'm not that guy. So the only way that I can get that kind of personal information out there is through the music, you know, because right. so, I'm because I'm not I'm not about to, you know, uh, become something or be something for for a tabloid just so that they can write a story I'm, I'm just not that person speaking of writing then so when you write for other people how do you jump out of you and go into their head um, i mean whoa, whoa, oh, 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 <laughs> I just, well i couldn't think of a, to, to their space <laughs> like because you wrote for no because to me hands down you one of the dopest dudes out there, especially it. when it comes to writing for other people. I mean, Beyonce, Jennifer Hudson. It's like you turn and was like, damn, they wrote that. How do you get into their headspace then? Um, that's honest. To be honest with you, that's not as difficult as 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 a person would seem. My mom raised me like this. She said, if it feels good, smile. If it hurts, cry. And never be afraid or ashamed to do either one. Basically mm -hmm. saying, don't run from emotion now in, in most cases you know little boys are, are taught that there's only two emotions is happy and mad and mm -hmm. that's it and that's all you can be mm -hmm. but uh, but my mom she was she made sure that i wasn't ashamed or afraid of my emotions so when i write for for women per se i just write from a more emotional place because y'all are more in tune with y'all emotions than we are in, right. for the most part a lot of so, drama shut up hence the drama the songs that i write for women it's not necessarily from a woman's perspective as it is from a person who is not afraid or ashamed of emotions perspective cool you know it just happens to to you know resonate more with women with women okay cool so have you gotten the groupies out of your system <laughs> get back to that <laughs> 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 you said with Manietta that you weren't completely the man that you needed to be and a lot yeah. of times when dudes say that mm -hmm. is because they're not done well, skiing some on some chicks well, that's 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 the realest way to put it yeah yeah <laughs> um to be completely honest with you i'm definitely getting into a place where you know my priorities are in another place you right. know just with you know my daughter getting older and and uh, you know they in tape recorder mode right now so everything they see everything they hear they're repeating it you know and all mm -hmm. of that like you gotta you gotta make sure that you're, you're that you're giving them a proper example so with that being said i'm i'm yeah i'm in a place where you know the 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 thoughticisms and all that are not as <laughs> not as appealing as they once were. Definitely. So. Yeah, okay. Rich Nice once told me, Sway, you know you're a rock star when you have a picture leaks of you getting hit. <laughs> There's nothing bad about that. There wasn't. How much backlash did you really get from that? Um, I, I mean, her parents didn't so much dig it. You know, or neither did mine. But other than that, it was it was it was what it was. Hey, the, the funny thing is that the person that the person that leaked it sent it back to me and said, "Give me X Y Z amount of dollars, or I'm going public with oh, this." Oh, I was like, "Are you for real?" Yeah, yeah. Be my guest, bro. I ain't tripping. Yeah, it is yeah, what it is. Yeah, yeah. look at you now. Your it's all kid good. career catapulted. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Neil, <laughs> Neil is here, man. Um, man, thank you for coming by, man. And then, man, can you come by like when the album drop and maybe perform? Yes. Wow. I got no we got a whole that. big studio back here. We do a concert series on Tuesday, brother. You ain't said number the word. Okay, the number the word. We dope. got it on record, man. I'm with it. I'm with it. Uh, the album is titled. The album is titled Nonfiction. Nonfiction. Uh, I, I was shooting for September. Uh, to be completely honest with you, it's not looking like I'm going to make that. Just to keep it all real, I'm, I'm still recording and writing on the album. Uh, so we'll just say look for it in the fall. Uh, once I once I confirm exactly when it's going to be out, I will definitely let y'all know. But as of right now, we're going gonna to look for it in the fall. Okay. Quality R&B music all day long. Check it out. There it is. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.